Thanks everyone. For today's video, we will learn how to convert degree measure to radian measure and of course, vice versa. Sa pag-convert natin ng degree or given yung degree measure at i-convert natin into a radian measure, ang gagawin lang natin is yung given degree, i-multiply lang natin siya sa pi over 180 degrees. Yan lang po yung gagamitin natin para ma-express natin yung degree measure sa radian measure. So, meron tayong given dito na kung saan 120 degrees, i-convert natin siya into a radian measure. So, anong paano natin gagawin yan? Meron tayong 120 degrees, multiply lang natin yan sa ating pi over 180 degrees. And then solve natin ngayon. So, 120, de uh, 120 degrees multiplied by pi over 180 degrees magiging 120 degrees pi over 180 degrees. And then we can cancel both the degrees. And then, simplify natin yung 120 over 180. So, alam naman natin yung 120 over 180, yeah, they are both divisible by 60. Okay, so divide natin sila both side by 60. So, 60 para sa 120. So, 120 divided by 60, meron tayo ngayong uh, 2 pi over 180 divided 60, meron tayo ngayon 3. So, yung final answer natin ngayon, dun sa 120 degrees ay 2 pi over 3. So, ganyan lang po ang ating process para makonvert natin yung degree measure, which is yung given natin na degree, para maging radian measure. Now, kapag meron sa instruction na sabi, leave your answer sa pamagitan ng pi, so, eto magiging sagot natin is 2 pi over 3. Okay? Pero, pag sinabi naman na binigyan ng value yung pi, so, alam naman natin yung value ng pi is mahaba yan. Yan ay 3.14, 16, and so on. Depende ngayon sa ibibigay ng instruction mula dun sa uh, problem ninyo. Let's say, pag sinabi, o, oh, bigyan ng value yung pi, ako saan si pi ay 3.14, o kaya 3.1416, so, ganun po yun. So, let's say, Gawin natin, dahil nasa instruction, binigay na kung saan, use pi as equal siya sa 3.1416. Let's say, 4 decimal places ang ano ang gagamitin. So, 3.1416. So, ang gagawin mo lang, yung 2 pi natin, so yung 2, papayta lang natin si pi by 3.1416 over 3. So, by the way, mayroong rad ito. Nakalimutan natin lagyan yung rad. So, that is a radiant. Okay? So, ano ngayon yung magiging value natin kapag meron, kapag ang pinalitan natin si pi ng 3.1416? Magiging, so, 2 times 3.1416 and then, i-divide lang natin ito into 3. So, magkakaroon tayo ng 2.094 for rad. Okay? Or, pag sinabi naman, leave your answer in two decimal places, so magiging 2.09 rad. So, kahit saan po, sa dalawa, yung magiging sagot natin. Okay? So, yan po. Again, waiting ko lang. Kapag sinabi sa problem, convert ano yung degree measure to radian measure, and then, Pag sinabing leave your answer in terms of pi, so ang magiging sagot natin is 2 pi over 3. Pero kapag naman sinabi na use pi, so yung mismong value niya, let's say 3.14 lang or 3.1416, depende naman po kung ano po nakasa instruction, so isa-substitute lang natin yung value ni pi as 3.1416. So dito, ginamit natin is 3.1416. Okay? Next. Another example, we have here negative 315 degrees. So, paano din natin ito i-convert kapag negative naman yung given 
uh, degrees natin. So, pag negative po yung degrees, same pa din naman po ng process ang gagawin natin. Gagawin lang ay i-multiply pa rin yung given degrees by what? Pi over 180 degrees. So, ang gagawin natin ngayon, solve. We have negative 315 degrees pi over 180 degrees. We can now cancel both the degrees. And then, magkakaroon tayo ng uh, negative 315 pi over 180. So, simplify natin si negative 315 over 180 degrees. So, simplify lang natin yan. So, there are both, ano, so making ating sagot, when we simplify 350, or negative 315 over 180 degrees, yan ay making negative 7 pi over 4. So, ito na ngayon yung magiging sagot natin. Kapag yung answer ay, we gonna leave yung pi in terms of, uh, in terms of pi, yung ating magiging sagot. So, ayan po. Pero pag sinabi naman din na we're going to use the value of pi, that is 3.14. So, para may bigay natin yung final answer natin. So, may rad pa rin. Lagi natin nakakalimutan si rad. So, laging merong pong rad yan. So, para makuha naman yung, let's say, use pi. Ako saan si pi ay equal to 3.1416. So, mostly ginagamit ko talaga for decimal places para mas makuha natin yung, yung, yung closer na sagot doon. Okay? So, mayiging negative 7 times 3.1416 over 4 red. Now, so, ang gawin natin lang, i-multiply lang po natin yan. So, meron tayong negative 7. Multiply by 3.1416. And then, divide natin sa 4. Magkakaroon tayo ngayon ng negative 5.4978. So, 4 decimal places lang laging kinukuha natin. Okay? Right. Or, pwede naman, kung 2 decimal places lang ang sabi, so negative 5.50. Rad. Ayan. So, yan yung magiging sagot natin. Kapag leave the answer in terms of pi, so, yung negative 315 degrees, ang sagot po natin yan is negative 7 pi over 4 rad. Pero naman, pag binigay yung value ni pi, depende po sa magiging instruction, then, ganito po yung process na gagawin lang. Okay. Next, paano naman kapag given naman yung uh, vice versa naman tayo, given naman yung radian measure, at i-convert natin ito into uh, degrees. So, paano natin gagawin? Ganito lang. So, meron tayo ngayon to convert radian measure to degree measure. Ang gagawin lang natin is we multiply it, yung radian measure sa 180 degrees over pi. So, meron tayo dito 7 pi over 4 rad. So, ang gagawin lang natin dyan is uh, para makonvert into a degrees, multiply lang natin itong radian natin by 180 degrees over pi. Kasi ang goal natin dito para makasell si pi, uh, si pi and then maiwan si degrees. So, makakonvert na natin siya into a degrees. Kasi yung 180 degrees over pi, they are uh, equivalent. So, one din yung value niyan. So, natin. So, magkakaroon tayo ngayon ng 7 times 180. Ang sagot natin is 1,260 deg uh, degree pi over 5 times pi. So, that is 5 pi. So, we can cancel both pi. And then, Magkakaroon tayo ngayon ng 120, uh, 1260, divide natin by pi. So, ang sagot natin dyan is 252 degrees. 
Okay? So, yun na po yung ating final answer. So, ibig sabihin, yung 7 pi over 5, ang sagot yan is 252 degrees. Okay, next. Try naman natin yung pangalawang example under ng uh, radian measure to degree measure. Paano naman kapag naka, uh, may negative sign naman yung ating radian? So, meron tayong negative 11 pi over 12. So, same process pa din para makonvert natin ito into a radian measure. Ang gagawin lang, we multiply itong radian measure by 180 degrees over pi. And then, so, we have negative uh, 180 multiplied by 11, we have 1980 degree pi over 12 pi. Then we can cancel both pi na. So, magiging sagot natin dito ay 1980 divide natin by 12. Ang sagot dyan ay negative 165 degrees. So, ito na po yung ating uh, final answer mula doon sa pag-convert natin ng radian measure into a degree measure. Okay?